Hey, it's Eva, and welcome back to my channel. And thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I did want to show you guys another makeup tutorial. I don't know, I'm like on a makeup tutorial roll right now. I just, this is a newer one for me to wear, and I wanted to share it with you guys. It's simple and easy to do, and I think it's a really good one for spring and summer because it goes with any outfit, which I love because you don't have to put too much thought into it, but it's a little bit more natural looking. And I actually wore this one in my top five spring blush picks and my April favorites video. So I will link those videos down below. But a lot of you guys mentioned how much you liked it and I know I was like panicking throughout the whole video because I didn't have my wing liner on and I just felt weird, but you guys really made me feel like it's okay to not wear a wing liner all the time. So I wanted to share this look with you guys. And it's just, I mean, you can achieve this with so many uh, eyeshadows. I'm using my Naked palette today, but I just wanted to share it with you guys and I really hope you love it as much as I do. I've really been wearing it like two or three times a week, so it's been a go-to for me and I was going to wear it today, so I figured I might as well film it. So I hope you guys like this and if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. I'm going to do a So now I'm going to use my Alme Smart Shade Luminous Primer today. So I just take a pump of that and just dab it and then blend it in. And then it's just going to, you know, give you that nice glow under any foundation. Then I'm going to take my Alme TLC, which I'm... I'm just obsessed with this stuff. And my shade is 260 Sand. And I just take a pump and a quarter and just dab it on my face like usual. And then I'm going to take my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki and just blend that out. Okay, then I'm going to set everything with my Laura Mercier a Loose Mineral Powder, and my shade is Natural Beige. So I'm going to get some in the lid. Then I'm going to take my Large Sigma Powder Brush, the F30, and just get some on your brush and just press it into your skin. And then once it's pressed in, you can go ahead and buff it. I just think, you know, setting it first is a lot, I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't come off when you try to buff it into your skin. So, and as you guys know, I haven't been using concealer. It just does a really good job. I mean, if you need it, go ahead and use it, but I personally haven't felt the need for it. So, that's me. Okay. For my bronzer, I am going to be using Max Gimme Sun. I brought this up the other day that I haven't used it, so I figured I'm just going to use it. And I'm using my Sigma F20. I just like a good, large bronzing brush, and I'm going to apply this to my cheekbones, my temples. chin and then make sure you get your jawline too. For today's blush I'm using my NARS Outlaw and this is just such a pretty one for summer and spring. I just love the little gold flecks in it. It just looks really, um, it's not too rosy but it just gives you like a glow too at the same time. Oh it's so pretty. Okay and I'm using my F40 and I'm just going to apply this the apples on my cheeks. 
I'm not going to bring it too far back because I do want more of that bronzy look for today. For my highlighter, I am using my Laura Mercy Baked Highlighter in 01. I think 01. Yeah, 01. And my tapered highlighter. So apply that to the tops of my cheekbones and my cupid's bow. I'm just going to fix plus real quick. And a really good tip that I just came across is after you fix plus, it's actually pretty easy to wipe off the powder off your lips and then that way your lipstick looks you know exactly how it should look instead of having to go in with like a makeup towel or something I just came across that I just wiped off my lips and I was done so just thought I'd let you guys know using my no Laura Mercy my Lorac behind the scenes eye primer and I'm just going to take a little bit and just apply it to my lids as well as my bottom lash line so I'm going to be using the Naked palette today and I'm going to start off with the shade um, Naked right here. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and this is the very first shade I used for my transition shade and then after I apply Naked I just do a little sloppy job and <laughs> I'm going to go in with Buck so then I'm just going to pile that on top because I feel like if I go in with Buck by itself, it's a little too harsh. So I build it in a way. I mean, this is like the easiest eye look ever. And then I'm going to take my large shader brush, the E60, and I'm going to go in with the color Smog right there. I love this shade. I I don't even know how many times I've used it, but I it still looks like I haven't even made a dent in this. But it's so pigmented that you don't need a lot. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lids. So I like this for that grungy look. It's not too... It's bronzy, but it's got the cool tones in it. So... I like it. Okay, and then I'm also going to just take a little bit on the tip of my brush and apply that to the bottom lash line. I'm going to take an E25 and I'm going to blend that out just real quick because we're going to blend one more time. And I'm going to take a any small shader brush and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. With, there went my brush. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is Virgin, and use this as my brow bone highlight. And I'm going to highlight my inner corners with this as well. Blend it out one more time, and I'm going to blend out my inner corners, my brow bone highlight underneath my bottom lash line. Because I'm not going to be using like a, you know, liner, I'm not doing a wing liner today, I need to put my lash glue on my lashes. And lashes are definitely optional. You don't have to use them, but I love them. And yeah, so let me just put some glue on these bad boys. For my eyeliner, because I'm doing that grungy eye look, I am going to be using my Steel Lionfish Liner. I believe I got this one in a gift set or something, but any kind of like dark bronzy kind of brown is going to work. I wouldn't, I mean you could do like a coffee brown, but if it's more on the bronzy side I think it works a little better. So all I'm going to do, I need to move my mirror closer to me, um, I'm just going to line like I would typically do my um, liner, but I'm not going to wing it out, but I'm going to get it really close to my lash line. So when I do put my falsies on, it just seems to blend in pretty good. I just don't like to put falsies on, then you could see them. It just weirds me out. So 
just a super simple line and I mean it really doesn't need to look perfect. I'm also going to do my bottom waterline. Oh my gosh, I almost like knocked my whole table over. I'm just going to smudge out my top waterline so you guys can see, you know, what I'm talking about. But it's pretty simple. I just, you know, blend it into my eyeshadow just a little bit, but not too much because you still want to see that eyeliner. So just like the top portion of your liner gets blended, not the whole thing. 120 Demi's. Oh, I need a mirror that's a little bit closer. I really do try to get my false lashes as close to my lash line so you can see, you know, the eyeliner. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Until my glue fully dries, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to comb them out with my little Anastasia number no. 7 uh, duo brush. And then I will be using my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. And I always use this shade right here, the one on the right. And then I'm going to use the other end of my little Anastasia brush. And fill in my brows. I always start with the tail first. And then work my way to the front. And then I do the middle. But I don't... I mean, if you guys can tell, I don't go all the way to the front because I want it to look more blended out. I kind of stop here and then whatever I have left on my brush, I will work inward towards the front of my brows. Just going to comb them out so they don't look harsh or anything. Using my Tarte Amazonian Colored Clay Tinted Brow Gel in Taupe. And I'm going to set my eyebrows in place with this. And then for my mascara, I'm using my MAC Giga Black Lash. Um, I'm really trying to just finish this up because it's borderline about done, but I just, I feel bad throwing it away already. So you're going to see me using this a few more times before I buy something else. I bought the Hourglass Canvas Lip Liner but I've really been liking the Plumberry with it a little bit better. Um, so that's the combo I'm doing today. And I mean, you don't need a lipstick if you're using this gloss because it's like a really long lasting gloss. I love it. So we're just going to line uh, your lips like normal. And then I'm going to be using the canvas by Hourglass. And I love this one. It's just, it smells like olive oil. So I think about that for a few seconds. But it's really moisturizing and it's, it really does last a long time. But it feels so good on your lips and um, it's just really natural looking and I really do like it and I think it will look good on a lot of you girls. Okay, I'm going to finish my hair and I'll be right back. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's just simple, basic and it's one I've really been loving and I think you girls would really like it too. 
and it's just a good one for spring and summer. I mean, it goes with anything and it looks more natural because you don't got the wing liner or a harsh eyeliner in general. So I've just really been liking it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up and I will see you guys really soon. Bye.